guess to start um, for either or both of you, just what was kind of your initial reaction when you see Darcy go down at the end of the first? I think a little worrisome. Um, you know, we haven't seen him really, so we don't really under know exactly what the extent of the injury was. But yeah, it's definitely worrisome when you see your starting goalie go down like that. What was working for you guys on the power play? Yeah, I mean, I think we were in a, playoffs in general. It's super important with your special teams, and and on the road, uh, it's very important. And for us, I think we first two games we were able to find some looks and and able to look at the video this morning and and see kind of where where we can stay ahead of their adjustments, hopefully. And and tonight we were able to do that, and um, you know, staying aggressive, staying. And an attack mentality is always important. Sometimes when power play is not working, uh, it's kind of what you get away from and, and you start looking for the perfect play. But, um, you know, we're just trying to take advantage of it, move the puck around, and, uh, and we've got some plays that we're, we're looking at and they work tonight. How high is the high here you guys are in now? I don't think there's any high. You know, we're, we're a pretty level-headed group. Um, this game's over now, so now we move on to the next one. The next one's the big one. It's, it's the hardest game is to knock the team out. Uh, they're playing for their season now. Um, so this next game is going to be huge. Yeah, I mean, exactly like you said, there's no easy games in the playoffs. And, you know, they've got their backs against the wall at home. They're going to want to, uh, you know, they never definitely don't want to get swept at home. And, and we want to try to end this thing and don't give them any life. So it's going to be a big game on Monday. You said you don't know, you, you said you don't know but the level of concern about, about, about Darcy Kimball at this point in your mind. Well, we just hope he's all right. And, you know, Frankie's our goalie. He's our goalie. You know, he played stellar for us tonight coming in. That's a tough situation to come into. And, you know, with five seconds left in that first period, he makes a huge save for us to, to keep us with the lead going into the first period or at the end of the first there. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're hopeful on camps for sure. But if Frankie's our guy, you know, we're ready to go to battle for him. Vaughn, your that first 10 minutes, obviously, you're at home. They come out, have a big push. You guys are dropped. Yeah, I mean, like Gabe said, our power play, we, we had some really good fluid conversations about things that we were seeing as players and coaches and what we think we can kind of find and, and exploit from them. And we were able to do that with our unit. Um, yeah, they came with a nice push against us and, and we were able to weather it. And that was what we talked about going into it. Never that confident, to be honest with you. Ever, ever, ever since the coach's challenge came in, you 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 don't ever want to count it to be in on until the puck is dropped, to be honest with you. And and I, you know, I talked to the coaches on the bench and they they were fairly confident and you know, um glad that one counted. How sure. state of the swing was that one and the fact that not only did the goal count, but then you get that power throw right Yeah, I mean that's that's exactly the I guess the risk you take of challenging sometimes and, and that's what we did last game and we ended up getting a penalty on it. So, uh, but that was a big swing for sure. And, and we were able to get a balance on the next power play and Nas cash us in. So uh, definitely a big, big swing in the game. How Absolutely. hard will it be to avoid the mental trap of saying if we don't win game four, we got game five? I think we've already talked about it. You know, we're, we're focused on game four right now. We can't, you know, worry about going home to finish this thing tomorrow or, you know, tomorrow's a good day for us to get better and recover and, you know, set our minds right for, for game four. And, you know, hopefully we can come out and do the job. I don't know if you guys have gotten a, a good look at it, but the, the back to the play with Kemper, anything about that look intentional to you guys or does that just kind of look like freak accident stick gets in the mask? No, I didn't see it. I, I haven't seen it, but, you know, I, I would, you know, even if it was intentional it's very hard to do so i don't i don't see it being intentional it's an i'm guessing it's an accident still haven't seen it but uh, just like taser was talking about we hope uh kemps is all right and frankie played amazing for us and um you know that, that that's a good sign yeah i mean it's one game at a time in the playoffs for sure and you know it's just like he was saying we got a big day off tomorrow and rest up recharge and Get ready for game four. Uh, it's no different than coming in here for, for this one today. So, yeah. I was talking about scout with Craig. You said your rebound goal, but that's a lot harder than it looks. Just it's a skill play. You got to move it like quick hands. Is that a good sign that like your, your rust is off? Like, I don't know, it's a better way to ask that question, but like, do your hands feel back? Does a little feel back for you? Uh, I mean, yeah, I said it before coming in for game five or game one. It's, 
you know, playoffs, it's you're not thinking about how much missed time time you've missed or or how rusty you might be or whatever. You're just trying to get into it and get involved right away. And for me, that's moving my feet and skating and playing physical and, and you know, front of the net like that. It's just kind of just reflexing, I guess, and, and it just kind of using your hand eye and just trying to bat the puck in and and uh yeah, it's a big goal. I know you were happy before game one that you had a surgery when you did, but now that you played the game like more so like yeah, you I, feel the difference? Like Yeah, I'm I'm happy I did it for sure. I feel good. Gabe, do you uh you know Nate for a long time obviously and it seems like his production or what's he built but somehow goes up every year. Just what changes for him this time of year? He's a man on a mission. Simple as that. You know, just like the other 20 some guys in that locker room. I mean, we, you know, we're, we're dedicated to what we're trying to do and we're committed to it and, and we're hungry for it. So, and he's leading the charge on the ice. Devon, for defensemen, is there anything that has to change when you guys have a change in net from Darcy to uh, Pavel and you guys don't just kind of stay, you guys stay the same and they have more line up? No, it's, it's pretty much the same. I mean, probably the only difference is, you know, forehand, backhand calls are different because he's, he's just a different hand, but, um, no, you play you play the same way. We got so much confidence in both our goalies. We don't have to change anything in our game. You know, we're not trying to step up and and you know deter more shots. It's the same game for us. A more you mentioned that you're on a mission with everybody else in that room. Um, having won the game in overtime, pretty far out shot the other team to find a way to win. And then this game, you go on the road, you lose your your goaltender. What does that show about? resilience and the focus yeah I mean you know I'm sure every team has talked about it that it ended up winning that last game of the season in the playoffs and, and hoisted that cup is that you're going to have to go through adversity on the way and you're going to have to get some bounces and, and have some luck go your way but for us it's just about being resilient like you talked about and, and sticking together um, and really just facing that adversity head on and um, and pulling together, pulling on the rope the same direction and, and try to do it together. And, you know, it's a, it's a team sport and we're all just trying to trying to do it together. Thank you, Mike. I guess for both of you guys, you're 7-0 now in the first round in the last years of the league. Is it hard to, like, not stay humble there or just understand that there's a lot, a lot more rounds after this and yeah, I think there's, you know, there's the stats or whatever, and yeah, if we're seven and zero in, in the first round, that's that's awesome. It shows that we're committed to our game and, and our structure, and uh, but at the same time, we, we're here for a bigger goal. You know, if you know we lose a game, our mindset's going to stay the same, and we're going to keep attacking and keep staying aggressive, and you know, just our mentality is the next game and you know the next shift, and and you break it down like that. Okay, thank you very much. Nice to get that uh, first save out of the way. It seemed like that came immediately after you came in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. I mean, that's that's kind of your something you need uh, for a good start. Uh, get the feeling of the puck. I knew there was like uh, less than a minute to go, so I didn't even expect that I'll, I'll get something like that. But uh, it was a it was a good save and uh, kind of helped me get into the game for sure. Can you take us through what you saw, how you reacted? And you're like, well, I guess I can. Yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't see what happened initially to Darcy, but I only seen that he's like having a lot of pain and I, I was sure that I'm going in right away. Uh, it's, it's, also, it's always like tough when you see goalie get hurt, then, uh, but you have to kind of trying to focus like all your, all your thoughts on the game, on the puck. So that was something I was trying to do. I had a huge support from the teammates. So. You know what Darcy's doing right now or? No, I didn't see him, so, uh, yeah. I'm not a goalie. Like, I'm surprised the stick can get in there like that. Can you tell me, like, how big is the eye hole? Like, is that a risk you know is there? Like uh, honestly, I I didn't even know that uh, something, like, something like this can happen until today. i never seen such an injury, and uh, it's obviously scary that uh, the stick can fit to the cage, And but I think it's really small chance that something like this can happen. You mentioned you had a lot of support from your, your teammates. Did any of them give you any words of encouragement or anything when you first came out of it during that, that break in between the first and second? Yeah, I mean, they were trying to, like, uh, show me that they trust me and uh, 
support me in the in the first intermission and uh most of all they supported me on the ice because uh every time they scored we scored right away so that's 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 awesome if you have uh such a good team that uh you have to lead right away back so that that really helped us for sure how would you just assess your your play overall this game uh i I don't want to talk about my play (laughs) it's kind of weird to like uh evaluate myself so i'll I'll, yeah i'll leave it like this it's it's your net now for however long I think uh, I think we have a really strong team, and uh, uh, we were alternating with Darcy whole year. So I I, I feel like I can I can play uh, behind this team. All right, thanks, Pablo. Thank you, guys. Thank you. He's good. Yep, he's uh, doing better, and uh, he's gonna like we'll get him further evaluated. But he's got some swelling there. Obviously, was unable to return, but hopefully he's you know, doing good and, and is able to get back in the net. Did he get to his eye or his forehead? His eye. Did, did he have to leave the building or could he just get back? No, he's still here. Yeah. You said eye or forehead? Yeah, it's his eye. Both? No. Do you expect him to play in game four? Possibly, yeah. Uh, I talked to you this morning, uh, this afternoon, about – you know, weathering a storm, you said that wasn't part of your guys' plan. You guys wanted to come out and pick up pace. How did you feel the team did in the first 10 minutes there? Yeah, I, li- I liked their game. I-, I thought we were disciplined with the puck, uh, managed that well. We were competing. Hard-fought game, hard-fought game right from the start. We expected it to be, but I thought our team got to our game and, and stuck with it pretty uh, consistently throughout the throughout, throughout the game. And special teams, obviously, a huge difference maker tonight. I know it sounds like now it's, it's good. Okay, but when you initially saw the Darcy play, well, you're always worried when you see a guy holding his eye and, and heading off for either team, you know. So um, he got evaluated right away by the time we came in for the period, you know. but Or by the time we went back out, we had information that, you know, it wasn't going to be too serious, you know, serious enough for him not to be able to come back. But um, at least he's able to see and, and do all that. So that, that made us all feel better, I think. On the coach's challenge, it seems like karma when you just said, if there's a goal, no goal, it's probably going to stay no goal, but it's going to stay a goal. Yeah, I think that's the way it kind of goes. You got to be, it has, I mean, the information we're getting is, is you got to be, you know, 100% sure that um, on what your challenge is. Otherwise, it, it's likely to stay the way it is ruled on the ice. And I had it as a good goal. You know, that, that I just thought the guy was leaning on him a little bit and um, he's stopping to try and stay out of the net. Three plays on the Kemper injury look like Johansson had the stick in his face and then he leaned into it. Have you had a chance to see that replay? Yeah, I saw it. What do you think? I think, you know, their guy's going to the net. He's trying to cause a little chaos. And, you know, I mean, I don't I don't think that – he intentionally tried to hurt him, if that's what you're saying. I think it's it's a hockey play, whether it sticks in his face or not. He's trying to cause some confusion and distract him a little bit. And I don't know exactly what happened or how it gets in there, but you know, it's unfortunate, is what I think. It's an unfortunate play. What did you think of Pablo's play? Uh, I thought he got better as the game went on. Yeah, I like I liked his game a lot. Yeah, I I I thought he was. I mean, it's three games he's played really good in all three. You know, tonight was obviously a real strong outing for him, no question. I asked you about that power play yesterday in game two. Today, you guys come out for four out of five. What was the difference today in that game? We finished on him tonight. I like the chances we created the other night live. But I like the chances we created looking back on it. Um, a good attack mentality again, and just sort of taking what they gave us and weren't afraid to put the puck to the net and go there. You know, the, the Gabe's goal, he picks up off Miko, good deception from Miko. We passed up on a couple shooting opportunities there, and then Miko decides he's going to put it to the net. We jumped on a rebound. I, I, I've liked our power play a lot in this, in this series, and, you know, tonight we just converted on our chances. Sometimes it's as simple as that. Like they took away that little bumper play. Did you guys 
do, like they're ready for it, and you guys adjust with that. Yeah, no, that that's something that they've been. I mean, you, it, it's not, it's really not there against these guys unless you're sort of attacking out of chaos. That, that was my feeling. Um, even from the get go against them, we found it a couple times. Uh, but they're good at covering it off, so something else has to be open. And, uh, how do you avoid the game four footballs thinking, oh, we've got game five now? We just come ready to play, same as we did tonight. It seemed on, on the, I think the fifth power play, it looked like you were mixing up the units. Was that just to test the caps yet? Or like no, someone came off and was tired, so put the next guy in that spot from the second unit on it. And then the at the very end, there was 20 seconds left. So we're not going to put a, a full unit out there. We wanted 2D. So that ended up being Taze and uh, Taze McCarr, if that's what you're talking about. There's Jesse and Mike. Uh, just your thoughts on the Hoiberg hit on O'Connor. Did that obviously he got the charging penalty, but did you think that it worth it anything additional? Yeah, I think it's minimum two minutes. Minimum. Last one, Mike. Okay, thank you very much. All right, thanks. Thank